from heaven, the Creator chose each and every one of us as individual lighthouses to shine the light of truth through our own tools and vessels, using our vocabulary, using our own sense of humor, using our own world of concepts and ideas based on our own life experience and wisdom. We are the ones that the Creator chose to reveal the light to our surroundings, to our loved ones, to those ones who will understand our language, our sense of humor, our concepts, our ideas. And we should believe in ourselves. That is the main message, that we should believe in ourselves, that that inner light that shines from within our own souls, that is coming from a heavenly source through our inner channels, illuminates our own hearts and shining and breaking out through our own minds is the heavenly light of the Creator. How will we know? How will a person know if the words that are coming through his mouth and the ideas that are coming out from his mind are heavenly, are the real truth that he should distribute and shine out to the world and share with all his surroundings? You should check yourself all the time if you're honest, if you're truthful, and if you find yourself that you are, that you are trying to be kind, that you are doing the best that you can to be polite, to be generous, to be nice to people, to support, to love, to care. If you see that the positive light is shining through your hands, through your eyes, through your mouth, you should be confident that the heavenly light is shining through you. And when you find yourself that you're being negative and angry, upset, and the darkness and all black bitterness is spreading out in your thoughts, in your feelings, in your emotions, that's the time to break. That's the time to stop. That's the time to hold yourself back and to wait until a new spirit will hover and a refresh and fresh and positive light will come back to your systems. And then when you're finding hope coming back and faith coming back into your system, it's time to shine again to the world. To believe in the Creator is to believe in our inner connection with Him. It's to believe in yourself, to believe that He speaks through you to the outside world, through your channels, through your thoughts and feelings. To believe in yourself is the first step to believe in the Creator. To believe in yourself is to reveal the loving kindness, the endless love, the feelings of justice and truth and love that are rising from within your own heart and to reveal them and to share them with your surroundings, with the whole wide world. To believe in yourself is the only way to express the godliness that's been treasured inside of you. And to that moment, the Creator waits for us to wake up, to recognize Him that He lives inside of us and to share that true great potential with the rest of the world. May it be His will that we all gonna rise and shine and succeed with a happy heart and a wishing soul and gonna see the resurrection of the dead and complete redemption in our days. Amen. Can you hear that song? You know me, my name is RDMC with the Muna Project. All the nations with me, close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth. Don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news, be yourself, your own true self. Don't let no one take our natural wealth. See the good, no fear, no despair. Cherish who that you are and share. From an endless spring, light up courage in yourself. You they can kick you down to the ground. Hold yourself up.